I have to give it to you guys. Many of you told me how much you love the York Pinafore after I did the Helen's Closet first impression video. So I got it. I made it and I love it. You were all so right and you also know me so well. It's the perfect combination of cute because, I mean, it is a dress and comfortable because it's so loose fitting. I've loved wearing it the many, many times I've worn it since I made it. Some of those might have been multiple days in a row. <laughs> it's just that good. So if you are living under a rock like I was, here's the lowdown on the York Pinafore. According to the website description, it is a modern take on a classic pinafore dress with a cocoon shape and two views. View A features large scoop pockets, a dipped neckline, and comes to the knee. View B is a shorter length with a high neckline and a kangaroo pocket. I made view B, but with the pockets from A. I can't remember exactly which size I made, but I graded out to my measurements at the waist and hip according to the tips in the instruction booklet. I didn't add any additional ease anywhere and chose the sizes based exactly on how my measurements fell in the chart. And I want to be clear about that because there are a few things I would change fit-wise next time. First, I'd make the bib, um, the part over the bust, a bit wider. I have a smaller chest, I guess, and I think the way the pattern is graded has the bib getting narrower the smaller your chest measurement is. However, just because my bust measurement is one size doesn't mean necessarily that my boobs are close together. I don't know. I kind of feel like my my measurement around my bust isn't distributed to where all of it is in the center front or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that I have like a wide chest that just isn't proportional to the bust measurement that I have. So just a couple of inches on either side and I'll be good, I think. Maybe even less than that. Half an inch maybe on either side. I also think the waist ease is a little generous. I think I'd be more, it would be more flattering on me if I were to take the waist seams in by an inch or so on both sides. Other than that, uh, other than those two things, everything else fits great. I love the length as is and the neckline is just the right shape too. I made mine from a stretch denim I got somewhere in New York City a few years ago. It's a great weight, but it's still like malleable due to the stretch. It takes an already comfortable design and makes it even more so. You certainly do not have to sew this with a fabric that has any stretch in it at all because it is so roomy. But if you have a stretch twill or sateen or uh, a denim in your stash, go ahead and use it. It'll just make it that much more comfortable. The raw edges of this pattern are all finished with bias tape, which is fine, but I'm not great at sewing it. For my next one, I've been considering like a narrow facing, like super narrow facing. This would mean my top stitching would be a little bit wider set, but I think that that could be okay. I don't know. I just don't like how sloppy my bias tape tape looks especially after I wash it one time have y'all ever tried another edge finish on the York or do you have any tips for getting perfect bias tape I used a quilting cotton and a bias tape maker so I don't know if either one of those things contributed to it it might just be that I need to bite the bullet and use like the pre-purchased bias tape or I don't know, do you guys starch your bias tape to make it stiffer? I just feel like as it's going under my sewing machine, it just tends to shift a little bit and then doesn't make like the most perfect, um, like it doesn't catch all the way in every place and you know, all that stuff. So if you have any tips on bias tape, let me know those. But that is all I have on the York Pinafore. I genuinely love this little dress and cannot wait to make some others. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.